Hello guys, welcome to Algorithms Made Easy. My name is Rajat and today we will be discussing the question number of subsequences that satisfy the given sum condition. In this question we are given an array of integers and an integer target. We need to return the number of non-empty subsequence of nums such that the sum of the minimum and maximum element on it is less than or equal to target. Since the answer can be too large, we need to return the modulus of that. So there are two sample examples given in the problem. We will take one of the sample example and see how the result is computed. So we will take the first sample example and now we will see what are all the subsequences that can be created from this sample array and also whether they satisfy the condition that the minimum and maximum in that subsequence is equals to or less than the target. So there will be four subsequences of size one each with only one element. Now we will see whether each of these subsequence satisfy the condition given to us. So the minimum and the maximum in the subsequence with only value 3 is 3 and the sum of the minimum and maximum is less than or equals to 9. So that satisfies the condition. So it is a valid subsequence. Coming on to the next subsequence where the minimum and maximum is 5 and 10 is not less than or equals to 9. So it doesn't satisfy and since 5 doesn't satisfy we already know that 6 and 7 will still give us a greater result than the target. Now let's take all the subsequences with the length 2. We'll perform the same operations. We'll check for the minimum and the maximum in each of the subsequence. The minimum and maximum in the first subsequence is 3 and 5 respectively. The addition gives out us as 8 which is less than 9. So it is a valid subsequence. Coming on to the next subsequence which is 3 and 6. The result is 9 which is equals to 9. So it is also a valid subsequence. The next subsequence gives us a result of 10. So it is not valid. The next gives us 11. Then it is 12. Then it is 13. All these values are greater than the target. So they are not the valid subsequence. Now let's take the subsequences with the length 3. In the first subsequence the minimum is 3. The maximum is 6. The addition is 9. So it is a valid subsequence. In the next subsequence, minimum is 3, maximum is 7, addition we get 10 which is greater than 9, so it is not valid. In the next sum is 10, in the next sum is 12. Now the last subsequence which contains all the values which is length of 4. Minimum is 3, maximum is 7, addition is 10 and it is not a valid subsequence, so it doesn't satisfy the condition. So here we see that only four subsequences follow the given criteria or matches the prerequisite that the minimum and maximum sum should be less than or equals to the target. So the result in this case becomes four. Now taking into consideration all the valid subsequences, we see that one common trait that the value three is common in between all the values that means the minimum should be 3. Now what should be the maximum? Since we know that the minimum plus maximum should be 9, the maximum value can go up till 6. We will discuss that in some time. Before that, if you see that if we have a value fixed 3, these are the two values of which the permutation we need to find out how they will pair with 3. The number of pairs that we can create with these three values where one value which is 3 is fixed is equals to 2 to the power the number of rest of the values which is 2 in the case that means 4. 4 permutations includes one null value which we can see at the top wherein only value 3 is present then only 5, only 6 and then both the values. Since the ordering is not important now let's talk about how to find out the maximum value. Now if we are sure that the minimum is 3, the maximum is 6 in this case. But how do we find out that particular value? That is the whole point of this problem. So in order to find those two values, we have two approaches. One is binary search and other is two pointer. In this particular example, you can think of applying a binary search because the input array is itself sorted and also two pointer can be applied wherein we can shrink the window size according to whether they satisfy the condition or not. Both these approaches will be much more clear when we code this. Now, if the initial array given to us 
was unsorted whether we will be able to apply the same binary search and two pointer of course we won't be able to and so the prerequisite of this particular problem is we need to sort the input array first and then apply the both the approaches in finding out what will be the maximum number that we can find for a predefined minimum value that we are searching so let's first start with the binary search So we'll discuss that we need to first sort the array. We need to use a mod value. So we'll define that. We'll define variable for the result. Now, the thing we discussed about the power of 2, we need not to calculate the power of 2 again and again. So we will be defining an array to store the power of 2 till the length of this nums array because that is the most power of 2 we will need. So we'll define an array power which is of length n will define the variable n as nums dot length. The power 0 of 2 is 1 and then we'll do a for loop. Now we can mod this value since we need the result in mod. Now starting from the 0th index of the nums array we need to find out for every minimum value the first value is the minimum value since the array is now sorted we need to find out the maximum value. So we'll go through all the values. So for this particular left value, we need to find out what is the maximum value that we can go, which won't breach this target. That means that means the value at left and the value at right will add up to max of target. So we'll take the variable right. Now in order to find out this particular value, we can do the binary search. We need to do the binary search on this nums array and the value we are trying to find is target minus the value present at this left index. Once we find this value, we need to ch check if the right is greater than or equals to left. If it is, we'll just add the result with whatever value of power we need to find. It will be right minus left and we just mod the value. At the end, we need to return the result. Now we need to define this binary search function. So we know that in a binary search, we take two values, low, which is zero and high, which is length minus one. Now we need to loop while low is less than or equals to the high. In binary search, we know now we need to find the mid value between the two. Now we'll check if the mid value is less than or equals to the value that we're trying to find. Then we need to simply shift our low to mid plus one else will update the high to mid minus one. At the end, we need to simply return the low index. This low index represent the value where we can insert this particular value that we are trying to find a place for. All the values before this particular index will be less than this particular value less than or equals to. So when we take this particular index in this right variable, we need to decrement it by one since the index given by this function will be an index where the value will be greater than target minus nums of left. And we need to find an index wherein it is equals to or less than target minus nums of left. That's why we are doing minus one over here. Once we are done with this, the coding part is done. We'll run it for the sample test cases. So it ran successfully. Let's submit this. So it got submitted successfully. The time complexity because we are using a sort function is n log n and also we are iterating over whole array and doing a binary search and binary search in itself takes log n times. So that's also n log n. The space complexity is of 1 because we are storing the values in a power array. Now let's go to our code and we'll try to solve this question using two pointers. So we'll just comment out this code and we'll try to write, we'll take two variables similar to what we had previously. We'll take left as zero and right as n minus one. In two pointers, we shrink the window at each place. So till left is less than or equals to right. We'll do this. We'll check if nums of 
left plus means of right since in a window where the array is sorted left will represent the minimum value and right will represent the maximum value if it is less than or equals to the target that we are trying to search if that is the case we can just simply add the value in the result what we did over here we'll just copy paste we'll do the mod as well and when we are done we'll just move the minimum index towards the right so left will be incremented if that is not the case then we simply know that the maximum value is much greater than what we expect for this minimum so we will just decrement the right pointer and that's how this binary search turned into a two pointers we'll clean up the code we don't need this now and we'll remove this as well so this is the whole code that we need let's try to run the sample test cases so it ran successfully let's submit this so this also got submitted successfully the time complexity still remains the same because of arrays.sort but over here we are only taking o of n time and previously with binary search it was n log n the space complexity still remains o of n that's all for today's video do let us know your thoughts comments and queries in the comment section below thanks for watching see you in the next one